Here in problem four, we were to identify the slope and the y-intercept of each line that would be related to each of these equations. And remember, we can do that from the equation if the equation is in slope-intercept form. And all four of these equations have been written in the slope-intercept form. Remember, kind of the generic version of that is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and whatever that constant b is is the y-intercept. So each of these equations has been written in that slope-intercept form. The reason I know they have is because on one side of the equation, I have y alone with a coefficient of positive 1. So for this first equation, that instantly tells me that the slope of this line would be a slope of negative 3. And the y-intercept would be positive 4. Since it's plus 4, that makes the y-intercept positive 4. Or another way to say it is it's the point 0, 4. Remember, the y-intercept is where the line is going to cross the y-axis. So the line's going to cross the y-axis up here where y is 4. That would be the point right here. This equation is also in slope-intercept form. So immediately, the coefficient of x is the slope. So the slope of this line would be 2 thirds. The y-intercept would be negative 5. That means the line related to this equation would cross the y-axis down here at the point 0, negative 5. Another equation in slope-intercept form. So the coefficient of x is the slope. The slope would be 7. Notice it's the coefficient. It's not the whole term 7x. It's just the coefficient is the slope, 7. So 7 would be the slope. The y-intercept would be negative 3. So that would say that the, the line related to this equation would cross the y-axis down here at this point. And finally, this equation, its slope-intercept form, tells us that the slope would be negative 5 halves and the y-intercept would be 7 halves. Well, 7 halves is what? 3 and a half? So that tells me the y-intercept would be up here at 1, 2, 3 and a half, approximately right there, would be where the line would cross the y-axis. So we can learn that kind of information from the equation when the equation is in slope-intercept form.